I think it, at, at times it was tough because he, he's a big part of that communication aspect. Um, and like I said, losing a guy like Mika, you know, is always tough. You know, he's a dynamic player, a big part of his defense. Uh, so, so losing him was, was was definitely hard. But it's just a next man up mentality. Uh, so we came in, um, had a few few wrinkles here and there that that, um, that we had to iron out. But uh, but we got things going. How much are you guys able to add change? I mean, work on that communication. It's a short week, but having at least a couple days versus in game to try to adjust for Minka not being in there. It's good. Uh, we got time to really go over film together, uh, get a feel for what we're gonna do uh, game plan wise uh, with the guys that we have. Uh, so that's always good. Uh, so just uh, the preparation uh, for the game is huge this week. Um, Luke, like not having Minka in the game, uh, so so yeah, so we'll get it going. Will the short as... week allow for you to condense some of the things that might be more complex with the full week going into Thursday versus a Sunday? Um, I guess. I mean, you know, the, the game plan is the game plan. You know, whatever they put out there, you know, it's it's, uh, it's up to us to, to go out, execute, and, and get things situated. Keanu, I know you guys often have three safeties on the field. Just how interchangeable are you? And are you finding yourself in different of those safety positions with Minka out? Yeah, I, I kind of did that a little bit last game, uh, moving around, doing different things. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's definitely something that, that I've been doing that, that I can continue to do uh, uh, heading forward, you know, with, with Minka not being out there.